Hi there! This video will show you the different effects that you can add to your text and images to make them stand out. To find the effect options, select the element that you want to modify and open Element Properties by clicking on this icon in the timeline. Go to the Graphic Filters tab. From here, you can add blur and glow effects as well as adjusting the brightness, contrast and saturation. You can also turn on and customise the drop shadow, inner shadow and bevel effects. First, let's look at the drop shadow effect. This will create a shadow around your text or image. Use this setting to change the angle of the shadow from 0 to 360 degrees. With this offset setting, you can adjust the length of the shadow. This opacity setting changes how solid or transparent the shadow will be, where 100% means fully opaque and 0% means invisible. Use the blur setting to adjust how sharp or fuzzy the edge of the shadow appears, where 0 is sharp and 30 is maximum blur. And use this option to select the shadow colour. Next, let's look at the inner shadow effect. This will create a shadow within the lines of the text or image. Just like for drop shadow, you can adjust the angle, offset, opacity, blur and colour. Now for the bevel effect. This will create a 3D illusion. For this effect, you can adjust all the same properties as for the shadow effect. Now let's look at these filter options. This one blurs the element's edges. This link icon here lets you lock and unlock the separate horizontal and vertical blur values. If the link symbol is broken, then you can adjust the values independently from 0 to 50. This option adds a coloured glow around the element. You can adjust the amount of glow from 0 to 50 and change the colour of the glow. Here, you can adjust the brightness of the element from 0 to 100. And here, you can adjust the colour saturation of the element from 0 to 100. Finally, the contrast between light and dark can also be adjusted from 0 to 100. Thanks for watching.